Hey guys, sorry Pierre, back in KSP. Tristan Novik 2 asked me for a tutorial on how to make a holocraft. And I said I would make it when I got the time for it, and that's now. Okay, um, a holocraft, it's also maybe a little tutorial on how I built planes, any plane, so. First off, for a holocraft I start with a uh, structural plate, one by one. And, uh, oops, sorry. Then of course we take. Then I take a um, let's see. Uh, depends on what I want to start with. Um, then I take a wing strike. It's a small long wing times two. Just have to flip her around, like so. Then I take the uh, offset tool and move the plates together. If you can't get them to get together uh, correctly uh, with the uh, angle snap on, you can turn that off and then. Uh, Make more precision placement. Now at this point, you also have the option uh, to take the off rotate button, and if you want to make the plane uh, smaller or uh, uh, leaner, you can uh, rotate the wing parts. Go back to offset. And again, align up the two points, like so, so you get a nice small, uh, yeah, how you say that floor where the pilot will sit. And of course, you put a seat on. Don't have to do it yet, but times one. Now you can, uh, if you're smart, just go inside this. Let's see if I can see if I can manage this. Let's see. Um, well, at least now the uh, pilot seat is straight. We're using angle snap, uh, turn it around till it's straight again. Using uh, the offset tool, this should be the middle of the plate. So, get that done. Now, later on, you can move it up or do anything with it what you want. But try to get the landing gear off the plate. And the uh, pilot seat. So, or else you have to try and get it straight from the uh, uh, sur wing surfaces. And those are under an, uh, under an angle. Okay. Let's continue. Uh... We take the same uh, wing strike. And what the hell does a wing strike mean? I have no idea. And angle them up. Uh, until you get the right angle. These days you don't have to pick it up and move it again. You can just use the uh, tools to move it along. After the rough angles, something like this, okay. Now, again, I'm gonna flip it back. No, not like that. Uh, turn off angle snap, move it back just a little bit, a little bit, like so. Use the offset tool again. Uh, move it up, move it in, move it forward, like so. Now, 
what I'm gonna do uh, is make the point beneath this uh, where the landing gear comes out and I can connect it with this part so this gap here doesn't matter right now so um, just continue you take a structural wing type D that's a small wing the one that connects in the length you also have uh, uh, the small one uh, where is it let's see this small one oh not in this version okay never mind uh, angle snaps here if this still works uh, yeah works okay flip that around until you almost close it off try to get it in a straight line well like this take the offset tool again move it in the right direction you can change the angles using F for those who don't know move it uh, turn off the angle snap uh, for fine precision movement turn off the angle snap oh that's closed I don't want it closed uh, let's see try to get this as small as possible okay that's a little bit too small but no problem that's better now um, to uh, close partly of uh, part of this gap go to the science take a com TTS M1 and put it here doesn't really matter where it is in the beginning because we're gonna move it again with the tools no angle snap required with this one let's see uh, okay getting there okay just keep switching between the uh, angles until you get the right one let's see well, as you'll see now uh, it sticks out on the underside uh, how can we change that uh, moving it up it's a gap down there I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now or maybe I can move it up a little bit higher turn it even more flat and something like this I just need to tweak this get to get the exact uh, angle And uh, of course we take a another there's now for the window again uh, using angle snap use the uh, plate if you can uh, we're gonna try this I, I think I didn't build it uh, this way the previous time uh, the previous yeah, times doesn't matter um, let's see turn you around we need the black part in front and so and let's see move it forward as far as possible open it see where we are extend not bad not bad okay uh, turn angle snap off rotate and move it upwards and I think we don't have enough reach didn't want to do that <coughs> ok 
Okay, let's see. Well, that's not high enough. By a few centimeters. Uh, scrap that. Uh, well, we just have to do it from the floor now. Which means we'll start off crooked, but what are you going to do about it? Uh, flip it Open her up again. Uh, okay, as you can see, I'm not really a good talker with this kind of thing. Um, I try to be uh, keep talking, keep giving information, but this is the reason why I don't make very long videos usually. Okay, uh, as you can see, we now have the uh, cockpit. Uh, I say that mm, canopy, which can close, and well, just going to continue now. This is pretty cl uh, close in the middle. I think maybe just a little bit off. No, that's better. Okay. Uh, now we take a small wing connector type D and connect that one. Of course, using angle snap to here. So, I uh, think um, oh, this depends on what you want to do. You can do it like this, and then you get a more of a uh, even more wedge shaped uh, wedge shaped cockpit, which you then of course can. Uh, move into position behind this one, sort of like this. We can also um, take this, uh, make something more like uh, this. Depends on what shape you want. I must confess, my shape here usually just come out of nowhere I just built and I I'm not really a planner I'm more of just build it and see where we end up so you now you can do this and angle this a little bit down so this is more uh, the design I used for the uh, for the dropship Okay. Uh, let's see. Sometimes you can use a uh, a how do you call this? Uh, Elevon to great effect. Uh, something like this gets you a pretty good shape. Uh, I however can also just use a wing connector type D again and see what does that does. The advantage uh, from this is is that you can connect something to it. The elevons you can't connect anything to them. So uh, now the only pl problem I have here is on the front, but I think I can resolve that with a few. Come on, okay. Okay. The rest I'm gonna do with the tool. See, like this, you can make pretty good-looking shapes. I'm not gonna make it perfect, of course. This is just an example for you guys. The actual plane is already done. Something like this. No, just tweak and try until you get the right shape. 
And we do the same thing for the uh, last part of the uh, angle of the cockpit. Though I think this is going to be a little bit too big. And you might not even be able to see the pilot if I place this correctly. Like so. I still got a bit of a cold, so if I don't sound really good, well, you know why now. Well, like you can see, this isn't completely fit. But it doesn't matter. Do we have anything else we can put there? Um, I sometimes use the uh, small hard point. But I don't think this diamond will really help much. The fill up spaces. Uh, like, let's see if I do this. can do that, say it has a few small little horns on the front, huh? make it look evil. Uh, okay, number one. No, I don't want to do that. Where do you, uh, no. My mistake, wrong button. Okay, turn that off. So now we sort of have a cockpit, sort of. Um, normally I have a big point beneath this, build that too. Pretty characteristic for my holocrafts up to now. Let's see. Um, move this over here. Um, just gonna finish this part and just to give you guys an idea of how I built this. If you want to see more, uh, I would say leave it in the comments and. Uh, I could continue this, but I don't want to make an uh, hour long video of me building a plane. That worked out nicely. Okay, uh, let's see. Flip that upside down a little bit more. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Just have to make this fit. Let's see. Come on. Normally I don't have this much trouble getting this in the right position, but you know you're talking in your building. It doesn't always come out the way you want it to. And sometimes it does. Uh let's see almost Come on, that's what you get when you grab it on the wrong angle. Let's see, that sort of, kind of, not really. Come on, and let's see, move you up here, move you in, something like this. I'm just going to keep on going. Um, like I said, this is just an example. Normally I would tweak it a little bit more. Okay. Flip this around. Pretty good. And put that there. A little bit. Up. Hmm. Let's see. Get you down there. More like that. Um, a little bit more like that. So. As you can see, it's coming there. It's coming there. Um, yeah, I think that is about it. Well, normally I don't have this angle, but 
uh, this is uh, in ieder geval uh, sorry but uh, this is uh, how I start a hollow craft and you just build from here from here backwards to the tail and just look at what you want yeah. the uh, uh, let's see the uh, dropship had a let's see had a a bridge of hollow uh, structural plates through the middle something like this not and then had the openings at the side for the drop pods and you just oh and uh, oh this is a very good one uh, how to keep things from moving okay. um, you should have to move something a little bit back so you can get your camera in there um, if you don't want a clip then you don't you don't have to do this you just have a more ugly plane ugly plane uh, let's see I take a strut strux, uh, connector strut and take it and connect it on the inside and connect the wing parts together like that you have uh, these wing parts which connect the rooftop which are which are the roof so you want to have a strong plane connect those um, with let's see this one with this one so this should keep your roof together during flight you can um, of course simply connect this one uh, like a cross beam uh, so nobody's gonna see me in that unless they move their camera in there and then well then they're asking for it uh, remove that and just that's my that's the way I strut my crafts also when they're not hollow and I have a big wing I always try to put the struts on the inside of the wing like this because you might call this cheating I call this uh, uh, normal because uh, if a plane manufacturer in real life wants to hide something he can do that he can uh, nail it polish the nail away I don't know paint it we don't have that option we have to uh, work in different ways uh, you know connect this one to that one over there I always try to keep an eye out oh it didn't connect yet Uh, here you can see it it comes through a little bit but that much and I'm gonna end the video at this uh, I hope it helped uh, if you guys want to see more uh, tutorials uh, I can make a tutorial again on moving parts make a new version of it uh, if you want to uh, I could show you how I make a uh, suspension for instance using uh, moving parts uh, stock moving parts so uh, if you guys like the video please like the video if you want to see more please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, yeah leave your comments in the comments and I'll uh, see you guys uh, next time bye okay Ik ben klaar, schat. Kala? Wat de fuck, ik meen je niet.